<coughs> yeah. So, struts 1x and 2x, these two are MVC frameworks. These two are MVC frameworks. And these frameworks will help us to build web application up to presentation part to controller part. It will provide support. And these frameworks are not useful for building models. These frameworks are useful to build up to presentation to controller only. So they are providing support for view layer and they are providing support for controller. And not for model part. For model part, they are not providing any support. By using 1x and 2x, you can provide support for controller presentation. So which features they are providing here for presentation pages, for presentations, for view pages, they given tags here. Struts tags support for presentation, they are giving features here. Struts form tags they given. Form tags support. Instead of designing your presentation pages by using simple HTML, by using struts form tags also you can design presentations. So then the difference is what? If I design my presentation by using struts form tags, this form tags they will provide a support, validations and form backup support. But by using HTML if I write, I can't able to achieve form backup and as well as validations. So to achieve validations, here they given tags for achieving validations and as well as form backup. For form backup and validations they given tags. By using that struts tags, if I design my presentation, then I can get this validations and form backup support. And here we have internationalization tags. I18N tag support we have here. By using this I18N tags, you can provide internationalization support to your presentation. Internationalization support means based on your language, you can change browser language. So language support, multiple languages support you can provide here. By using this internationalization tags, you can design your presentation page in multiple languages. One single page can change its behavior based on your language. It will change complete language based on your browser language. So that internationalization tag support also here they given for a presentation only. And here they given some logical tags. Logical tags they given. Logical tag support we have here. Logical tag support we have here. Same like your JSTL tag library. So here by using this logical tags, we can do iterations. Iterator tags, the main tags are iterated. Collection data, if you have anything, easily you can iterate it. Iterator tags. Internally they given iterator tags and condition tags. Conditional tags support we have. Easy iterations and easy condition operations we can write in our presentation page. Similar like your JSTL tags. So that logical tag support also we have here. And this one is for presentation. And we have tiles tag support. Tiles tag support also we have here. By using this tiles tags, we can design templates. Internally they are providing templates support. UI templates we can design. So for presentation here, they are providing four types of tags. Form tags, bean tags, means I18N tags. Form tags, and we have I18N tags, and we have logical tags, and we have tiles tags. <coughs> These four tags, they given for presentation part. So by using these four, you can provide view support. And coming to this controller part, for controller part, they given for controller part. <laughs> F 
for a controller here we have features under controller part yeah here we have multi action controllers multi action controllers they given and multi button controllers they given if we see surlets under surlets only one method we should write either do get or do post or one service method we should write for one form or for two forms one form if it is get form and one form if it is post form the two forms request if you want to handle from one single surlet in that surlet you can write you can override do get method and do post method and get form data you can handle by using do get post form data you can handle by using do post methods but it is not possible to handle multiple button operations or multiple action operations we can handle but manually programmatically we have to write some code based on button values or based on action names but here they given some built in controller classes by using that built in controller classes directly you can write your required multiple action and multiple button controller multiple action controllers you can write and multiple button controllers you can write so easy multiple button operations and multiple controller operation support they given here and here they given one more support multi form controllers multi form multi form controller operations also you can write here multi form controller operations also you can write multi form like if you see aadhar registration in case of aadhar registration we have to fill many pages for doing one single use case for doing one single use case we have to fill multiple forms first form second form third form fourth form like that we have to fill up to four five forms we have to fill so to handle that multiple form operations here they given multiple form controllers in case of surlets we used to write first form data we have to keep it into session object second form data we have to keep it into session object until final form we have to store previous forms data into session object finally request data along with our previous session data we have to read and finally we have to persist into database but here you no need to write such type of operations simple controller classes they given simple multi form controller handling support they given here multi form handling support and we have exception handler support exception handler support we have here exception handler support usually we used to handle exceptions by using try and catch right handling exception means try catch only but here you no need to write to try catch kind of things in any class if there is a chance to get exception you no need to handle that exception instead of handling exception from same class you can write one more handler class from there you can handle your exceptions if you know spring aop in aop we have one in spring aop in spring aop we have one throws advice in case if there is any exception in your method then immediately it will terminate your execution and it will redirect it to throws advice class means in case of exceptions it will execute other classes in that class you can write your handling code so here also they given the type of exception handler classes exception handler support they given here and they given here plugin support plugin support they given for controller under controller part only we have to use plugin classes plugin classes for what to integrate controller with model to integrate your controller part with model part they given plugin support so that plugin support also they given for controller plugin support plugin support we have plugin support and pre handling support they given here pre handling support
if you want to execute anything before your controller classes like security if you want to apply if you want to apply security for your entire application that security operations pre handling operations you can write only pre handling is possible in case of one x before submitting your form request to controllers if you want to execute any securities let's say if you have 1000 forms for the 1000 forms if you want to apply security while submitting that 1000 forms request to your multi action controllers or multiple button controllers before executing these controllers if you want to write any security operations again and again you no need to write 1000 times we have one pre handler class in that pre handler class if you write anything that code will execute before your controllers so that pre handling support also we have so through this pre handlers you can provide security support for security you can use this you can use it for security and you can use it for any pre loggings if you want to do any loggings at what time user requested your application just a logging if you want to do you can do here and here they given internationalization tags right in case if you want to change your browser language to change browser language to change browser language we have to use backend controllers whenever you want to change browser language let's say if you have some options here telugu english hindi if you have options here whenever you try to submit this hyperlinks on hyperlink submission if you want to change your browser content browser language at backend you have to use again controllers on your server you have to write controllers so internationalization controllers also they given internationalization controller classes they given i8n and controller classes to change browser languages to change browser languages we have i8n and controllers in case if you want to change your browser language this i8n and controllers they will help us to make changes on browser language and to provide validation and form backup support to provide validations and form backup support to this form tags to provide validations and form backup support from controller part we have to provide some helper classes under controller part you have to provide some helper classes here that helper classes are form bean classes form beans for form backup form beans for form backup and they given validators validators for for validations so this form beans and validator support also they given whenever you try to submit your form data for your form data if you want to apply any validations or form backup support if you want to provide that form backup form bean classes and validator classes they given so by using that form backup and validator classes you can provide form backup support and validation support for your input pages so that supports also they given here these many features we have for presentation these features for controllers they given these features and what about model part for model part we don't have any support from struts for model part we have to go through spring or ejbs your model part you can design by using ejb session beans and ejb entity beans combination or else you can go through ejb session beans and hibernate combination or else you can go through spring and hibernate combination or else you can make by using spring and spring warm combination okay so this left side layer this one is for business part and this one is for dios model again it will divide into business and do part by using ejb session beans or spring you can make business part and by using ejb entity beans or hibernate or by using spring warm you can design your do part but struts it can't able to provide support struts is not having any support for model part okay 
and for struts 2x along with this all features these all features we have in struts 1x in struts 2x in struts 2x these all features we have in 1x in struts 2x in struts 2x along with pre handling support we have post handling support also here pre handlers and post handling interceptors concept they given here so you can execute any pre operations and post operations while submitting request if you want to execute security kind of things you can execute after completion of your request if you want to execute anything like output page rendering kind of operations output if you want to change while sending output that output page rendering operations also you can do by using post operations so pre and post handling support they given here pre handling and post handling interceptors concept we have interceptors in the form of inter given under struts 2x and along with these all tags in struts 2x they given one more ajax tag support ajax tag library also they given along with these all tags they given ajax tags also in struts 2x we have one more extra tag support here ajax tag support ajax tag support they given and here actually for this presentation pages they given one more support ognl support object graph notation language support also they given but these two features we don't have for 1x for 2x they given this ajax tag support and ognl expression support object graph notation language support they given these are the extra features in struts 2x these two features ajax and ognls and they given this support along with this they given they introduced one more topic here value stacks value stack support value stacks value stack support also they given so these all are features from struts 2x in 1x we have only four tag support in 2x we have one more tag support ajax tag support and you can use ognl expressions for your presentation pages object graph notation language support and in struts 2x coming to controller part they introduced one more thing here interceptors interceptors concept they introduced and they given some value stacks concept value stacks value stacks concept also they introduced here so these two are these three are extra features from struts 2x and one more thing you can call this struts 2x framework as a pulled mvc framework it's a specially designed mvc and this mvc you can call it as pull mvc struts 2x mvc is pull mvc